When people who are unfamiliar with Living Hope ask me about it, I tell them that you have to come and see it to believe it. In all of the experience here, there is a sense of joy that is overwhelming. From our pastors, to our wonderful music, to our Bible studies, to our Sunday school classes, to our mission efforts, to our social events, but mostly with the interactions among the congregation, there is a sense of joy that is very hard to put into words. Prior to the formation of Living Hope Church five years ago, I heard that we were going to be meeting at Pierce School. I thought, oh, what's it going to be like having a church in a, in a school where I'd always been to a formal church service? Would this be feel like church to be? But I found out that, yes, you can have. You can have a service anywhere. It's the Word of God, and it's the congregation that make the church. I, too, was very curious that Sunday morning as we drove to Pierce Middle School for the first time, wondering what it would be like to worship in a middle school. We walked in, we were greeted with so many of our friends. We walked into the auditorium. We sat down in the seats that are pretty small. And we look, I looked up and here was a beautiful cross. It was a large wooden cross that was there. And I, it just radiated love. And I knew that I was truly in the house of worship. A thing I think I've noticed the most is that there's been really been a change in the worship service, and that is what's really brought joy to my heart. But Sundays at Living Hope give me a sense of peace and the desire to continue to follow the Holy Spirit. I guess you could say I was shopping for a church. I had been to many, Presbyterian, Methodist, non-denominational, but nothing felt just quite right. At one church, a pastor asked me exactly what was I looking for, and I told him it was a feeling. It wasn't really something I could describe, but I would know it when I felt it. Several months later, Kathy Diskin invited me to Living Hope, and that first Sunday, I knew I had found what I was looking for. I would found that feeling. It was a feeling of being at home. The congregation was so warm and friendly and welcoming to me, and I knew that I'd found the church family that I was looking for. And we love every second that we spend getting here because it is so great. And Jim, Pastor Jim, he never lets us down. We feel safe and at home here. With our church family, we feel safe and happy anywhere we are, whether it be a school auditorium, at a picnic, at a park, playing putt-putt, or at the Macaroni Grill. Okay, uh, I joined uh, Living Hope Church because it's a Bible-believing church. Uh, it's a Bible-preaching church, and it's a, a Bible-teaching church. Uh. Hello, my name is Tyler Lease. Uh, I'm extremely thankful for everything that Living Hope has done for uh, not only me, but uh, for my entire family. Uh, most importantly, I'm thankful for all of the teachers that I have that I've had, you know, in Sunday school. There are a lot of important things about Living Hope Church that uh, it makes me really happy, but the most important thing I would think for me would be the Wednesday night and Sunday morning Bible studies. My faith journey has grown more in the last five years than any time in my life, and uh, Reverend Riser has been instrumental in making that happen. <clears throat> We have uh, his in-depth Bible studies that are not only entertaining, but they are educational. So Living Hope, um, we have been privileged to be here now for almost the full five years. I think uh, Jim had called me and asked if I would be able to play piano on that third, the third service. And what turned out as, as a possible one or two week uh, fill-in has turned into five wonderful years together. Um, my family and I, we are so appreciative of everybody here at Living Hope. And I really think that's one of the greatest things about Living Hope, and that is the relationships. We had come here after serving 10 years in full-time ministry at a church. And so through that 10 years, you really just develop some really close relationships. So when we came here, it was kind of like uh, changing schools or moving to a new neighborhood or community. And we were just so blessed by, uh, by, the, by the folks here um, at Living Hope that welcomed us and made us feel part. I've been attending Living Hope since um, the fall of 2012. Jim 
married my daughter and son-in-law and we were looking for a church and so we started uh, attending this church. Not long after I started attending in December 2012, my husband actually was diagnosed with dementia and I had to make a lot of life decisions. I had to quit my full-time job and decide to bring him home and take care of him. In the meantime, the church was very supportive. About once a month, I would get a card. And I have to tell you that just knowing that people were thinking about me was just, um, just heart-wrenching. And everyone is always looking for ways to help. And when I was diagnosed with cancer on October 22nd, all of a sudden, just everyone was praying and just continuous thoughts and prayers for me. And as Pastor Jim put it, he told me that I should prepare for a tidal wave of love. And he was not wrong. Everyone, uh, they would send meals and cards, and you could always be sure someone was praying for you. What first attracted me to Living Hope, and the reason I joined, is the community aspect of our church. The people here have such love and affection for each other, it totally enveloped me. When I first started attending Living Hope regularly, my husband Joel had just died. People who barely knew me sat with me while I cried, literally holding my hands and figuratively holding my broken heart. I am so grateful to be a member of such a loving and supportive church. Church has been very supportive. Uh, the scripture talks about praying for one another, and this church does that. And it does that in a really great way. Uh, we felt supported and uh, loved by the other members of this church, even though we haven't been here very uh, long. Uh, the most, the, the biggest thing I like about Living Hope is the, the fellowship that they, is that they have. They have a very big togetherness if that's the right word to use. Overall, the people at Living Hope are just God-loving people, and the community here has, is just, it's absolutely fantastic. It's been a complete blessing to me and my family, so thank you for that. In celebrating the birth of Living Hope's five-year anniversary, I just want to thank God for the ability to walk on His Word and be joined with others in our community, in our church family, and go where he leads us. It, it may not be a building, it may be, but being able to worship in word and in deed. But I just have to say that Living Hope has been a great blessing to me. I know it's been a blessing to my family, to my kids, and I just um, have to say happy anniversary, fifth anniversary to Living Hope. So happy anniversary Living Hope.